guys it's her and tony here welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time checking out my channel welcome my name is tony i am an rn and my channel is all about women's health lifestyle motherhood and much more guys so it's actually november 2nd and it's my birthday it's my birthday guys i'm officially 35 years old um and a lot of you might look at it and be like oh my god you're just a baby but um guys but guys 35 it does still feel young like i don't even feel any difference i don't feel any difference at all i feel like i'm still 34 like sometimes 30 sometimes i forget how old i am just because i do still feel young you know but i do want to share that um so usually the night before my birthday i always just you know grab my family and we pray um, so last night I just, I just pray guys. I went, I went down on my knees and I just poured myself, my heart to God. I just prayed and I prayed and I pray guys. Um, I'm 35 and I feel like a lot of people are just not grateful enough when it comes to appreciating, you know, having their health, having their family, having their friends, you know, just ev having everything that they have. And, um, for myself, I'm 35, guys. I am so grateful for everything. Um, I'm grateful, you know, that I believe in God. Um, I'm grateful that God has given me the parents that I have. Um, you know, I don't even know how to thank my parents because, guys, if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, and I can actually share that if you were to actually ask me um, who is my greatest role model out there it's my parents period my parents it's no beyonce it's no sierra nothing like that my parents are my greatest role model period they're the most hard-working people that i know but anyways that's a story for another day but i do want to thank god for giving me the parents that i have because they have taught me to you know always think about the best path for me to take in life um they really try the hardest to um, make me um, successful or just, you know, just make me a fighter and, you know, work hard for what I want to do. And so if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, just getting older, I, I have actually um, grown with that wisdom of, you know, talking to my kids and also, you know, pushing them and teaching them um the you know how to make the right decision to follow the right path of course we're not perfect i've made so many mistakes my parents have made a lot of mistakes but there are things in life where sometimes you really just have to think it through before you go ahead and uh, decide to do it so i'm really grateful for my parents um and i you know i have my siblings i'm so grateful for my siblings they're amazing um i'm grateful for the closest friends that i have um you know god is wonderful and i always believe that you know with god you have everything without god you have nothing you have nothing i'm not gonna argue with any of you out there but it's my belief and um I, I do value that and so I hope you can respect that um, so now just moving on um, you know being 35 yes I'm still young but I can tell you that you know as I get older um, normally my belief from what I have mm -hmm. learned as you get older you should get wiser and when I say wiser it doesn't necessarily I mean you can be young and wise but if not if you feel feel like you know 10 or 5 years ago you were really immature with your decisions and the things that you used to do um you know as you get older you should improve yourself you should always remodel yourself to the best version of yourself all right so wisdom will be you um picking out the uh the best decisions out there analyzing the decisions that you make right and um you know your manners your way of talking like respect is a huge huge thing being humble when you have to be being bold you know just because you're humble doesn't mean that you're stupid it doesn't mean that you're weak um so being wise and having wisdom is just you sitting back analyzing and uh you know understanding 
the topic, understanding the situation from every possible angle, going ahead and then making a decision. Um, you know, so like I said, as we grow older, we should be wiser because I still do see a lot of people, you know, they get older, but their behavior, it's just really disappointing. You know, it's just like, come on, you're not a child for you to be behaving a certain way. Yes. As we get older, we still have that, you know, little child in us and we're allowed to have fun. We're allowed to make mistakes, but when it comes to certain things, no. All right. There shouldn't be any time for that there shouldn't be any time for certain things in life because you should be mature you should be wiser so that's another topic but um so that's just how i feel i'm not perfect but um i believe that um wisdom is uh one of the keys uh to just living a peaceful life uh respect being humble and like i said you know you have to be bold at the right time all right so you face a situation you, you're not just gonna sit back and watch of course you target um your opponent or whatever situation you're facing um so you know i'm 35 i have two kids i'm married yes i'm still young but um as a mother i try my best to teach my children about um respect uh, being loving being caring being patient all of those positive things you know at the end of the day nobody's perfect but it's important that uh, because my parents have taught me to do those things in my life and so i also want to apply those things to my children right you know so being 35 guys a lot of people are born in 1986 same year as me same day as me same time probably as me but guys a lot of them didn't make it to you know even one five ten twenty thirty um some people probably even just made it to 34 and that was it but i'm still here so I'm super grateful. And All right, so I, I got ready. God, I put on a pair of leggings and a top. I like and, to be comfortable um, when I go get yeah. my nails done. Um, I mean, it's just, it feels right. Like, you know, you just kind of want to chill and be comfortable, right? Um, and I just put on some face moisturizer. I, my eyebrows were kind of fading away. They're too thin. So I needed to give it a little boost, as you can see. And same thing with my um, eyelashes as well. They're pretty short, so I put on a little bit of a mascara. Um, yeah, it helps. I mean, it helps a lot. And I put on a little bit of a lipstick. It was just to kind of, you know, yeah, just to kind of make it stand out a little bit, even though I was wearing a mask. I don't know. That was that. I drove to the place. It took me about two minutes to get there, um, which is pretty good, pretty convenient. And yeah. So as you can see, um, I mean, everywhere you go these days, of course, any place you go indoors, you need your mask on. So I put on my mask and there I was. I was there for <laughs> overall probably three hours, guys. They were so busy. I had to wait a super, super long time. It was a bit frustrating, but I mean, what can I do? It was actually a last minute booking and they took me in. So it is what it is. So I had my pedicure, the lady caring for me, she was amazing. I did tell her it was my birthday. I had to, you know, to get that extra pamper. And so I got it. It was amazing, guys. It was so soothing. And I love massages. Like, I can get this done every single day. Like, I love it. And as for my manicure, um, I just wanted something simple. I'm not really too crazy when it comes to super long nails. I like my nails to be not too short and not too long, just manageable. Because I have kids, so I like to, you know, feel free. <laughs> um, yeah. So I picked a really simple style. They did a decent job. I wish they were a little bit better, but yeah, that was that. So for dinner, I actually ended up ordering red lobster. I love seafood, so this was great. Apart from, you know, being too salty, it is extremely salty, but it's something that I eat once in a while. This is probably the second time that I'm actually eating red lobster um, throughout the year, so... 
and it's probably going to be the last time for the year as well so once in a while i mean you can always treat yourself right so this was great because i didn't really have to make dinner and uh, i really enjoyed it it wasn't too bad i actually had some leftover on the following day which was great um and so yeah my kids really enjoyed it too um yeah you can't go wrong with seafood i mean how can you not like it so hubby surprised me with one of my favorite drink amarula for those of you who haven't tried it yet it tastes almost exactly like baileys or some people say it tastes exactly like baileys i feel like there is a difference though um and he got me a birthday cake and um it was carrot flavor it was really good and yeah so that was pretty much it. I hubby thought that, you know, it just made sense to put on um, 35 candles. So <laughs> that was really sweet of him. And yeah, so that was pretty much my night. And at the end of the night, we just ended up dancing and have a, you know, just have a good time as a family. So that was it. So this is part one, part two coming.